Hey everyone, I want to do a little video about order of operations uh, from Houston Math Prep here. So commonly I think people have heard of the order of operations supposed to be done as PEMDAS. Uh, they read these six letters as a word PEMDAS, but it's actually an acronym for the order that we would do uh, a bunch of operations if we had a mixture of them uh, to evaluate some sort of arithmetic expression. So the first one here being P uh, stands for uh, parentheses, so we would do any sort of um, parentheses or uh, brackets. Um, and the next one after parentheses is going to be any exponents that we have. So after we've done as much with parentheses as possible, we would then do exponents after that. Uh, after exponents, we have m and d, uh, m being multiply, so any multiplication that we have, and also any division that we have. Um, and really what we'll do is we'll do any multiply and divides. We can think of those sort of all as one stage um, and we'll just evaluate those left to right moving across. Uh, so after M and D I bet you can guess that uh, the A and the S are going to stand for add and for subtract. And just like multiply and divide we can do add and subtract just straight across once we get to that step uh, going left to right and evaluate all of those. So those are uh, the steps for PEMDAS. Uh, some people also remember like please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and there are other ways that they remember PEMDAS but this is the order that we'll go in when evaluating. Now these are not the order uh, the order of the steps whenever you are solving an equation. Then we go backwards through PEMDAS. But let's just take a look at evaluating some of these uh, as we see them. So here is one example. We have negative 3 outside of parentheses. We have 18 minus 2 times 11. So if I go through and I look at just sort of what I have, I have a multiply going on here where the negative 3 is next to the parentheses. In here I have a subtract between the 18 and the 2 and I have a multiply between the 2 and the 11. Now obviously um, this big grouping here that we have is inside parentheses. So what I need to do first is focus on everything that's inside the parentheses and look at what I can do with that. So if I just look at the 18 minus 2 times 11 which is in parentheses um, then I would look at the subtract and the multiply inside the parentheses first. So I'm going to leave the negative 3, I'm going to put my parentheses. Um, so as far as the subtract or the multiply, the multiply is going to come first in my PEMDAS, so I will want to do the 2 times 11 first. So this is the operation that I will do first right here, the 2 times 11, and so we will get 18 minus 2 times 11 would be 22 there. So we've taken care of the multiply inside of the parentheses. We still have one operation to do in the parentheses. We still have a subtract to do. So inside the parentheses we want to do the subtract. So that will give us the 18 minus 22 which would be negative 4. Now I do still have parentheses, but it's really more just showing that my 4 is negative so that I don't th think that it's negative 3 minus 4. It's negative 3 times the negative 4 that's in there. So inside the parentheses, everything has really been done that I can do. So the only thing left here now is the multiply. So I would say negative times a negative is going to give me a positive, and 3 times 4 will give me the 12 there. Okay, so we work everything that we can in the parentheses, and then once we do that, we continue on in the order. Okay, moving on to the next one. Here we have 13 minus 6, all in parentheses, squared. So here I have some parentheses going on here, and then I have an exponent. Um, here I have 5 outside of parentheses, so this is a multiply, and then inside parentheses I have negative 2 plus 6. So you can see there are two places where I need to do things inside of parentheses. So let's go ahead and do this first set of parentheses here. So 13 minus 6 is going to give us 7 squared plus 5 times, and then negative 2 plus 6 will give us 4. So we've simplified the parentheses as much as we can. So parentheses are now done, so we'll move on to exponent. Exponent, I just have the square here. So 7 squared, which would be 7 times 7, is 49. So I'm going to keep everything else. 
So my exponent is done. Now I would do any multiply or divide that I have. I have an add left to do, and I have an, a multiply left to do, so I'm going to do the multiply next. So I would have 49 plus 5 times 4 doing that would give us 20. And then the add obviously is the only thing left to do, and 49 plus 20 is going to give us 69 there. Okay, next problem. Uh, we have some, you'll see we have a little divide symbol in here. We've got another exponent. We have some parentheses. Uh, so we have four outside of the parentheses. We'll want to do the parentheses first. We have parentheses here and here. Um, if you notice in my second set of parentheses, I just have one thing going on. In my first set of parentheses, I have a couple of things going on. So if I look at uh, 9 minus 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed. I have a subtract here, but I have an exponent inside the parentheses. So I want to do the exponent before I do the subtract. So what I'll need to say is 9 minus 2 cubed, or 2 times 2 times 2, is going to give us 8. Plus 6 divided by... Uh, the 7 minus 9, I can go ahead and do that all in one step. That's just going to give me negative 2. There was only one thing to do in there. Let's go ahead and now complete our subtract, right? So we'll have 4 times 9 minus 8, which is just 1 in there, plus 6 divided by negative 2. Okay, so everything in parentheses has now been simplified as much as possible. Um, we don't have any exponents left, so if you look, we just have, we have a multiply here, we have an add here, and then we have a divide here. Okay, so what we'll need to do first is we'll need to do the multiply and divide before we do the add. The add will be last. Okay, so 4 times 1 is going to give me 4. I'm going to leave my plus there. And then do the division here. So I have 6 divided by negative 2. So first thing, a positive divided by a negative is going to be a negative. And 6 divided by 2 will give me 3. So now we have an add. So I have 4 plus negative 3. 4 plus negative 3 is really going to be the same thing as 4 minus 3. When we have plus a negative, that's the same as subtract. So 4 minus 3 then will give us 1 for this answer. Okay, last one here. You'll notice I have some parentheses that are round and I have some brackets that are square, right? So what we'll do is we'll start with the innermost parentheses first, P always being our first step, and work our way out. So you'll notice I have parentheses here, but I have these parentheses inside of brackets. Brackets are just another set of parentheses. We draw them square, usually outside of the round parentheses, so it's easy to tell what is grouped with what. Um, so I have this set of parentheses, I have this set of parentheses that I'm going to do. I also have these. So over here, let's do those first. So inside these parentheses, 2 minus 4 is going to give me negative 2, and then I will square that negative 2, plus 3. So here I have negative 1 plus 7 is going to give me 6. I'm going to close off my big brackets, and then I have minus 5, and in my parentheses here, doing 10 minus 13 is going to give me negative 3. Okay, so now in here, I still need to do a bit of work. I have an exponent here, and I have a multiply here. So we'll do the exponent next. So negative 2 squared will give us 4, and then we have plus 3 times 6. Here, minus 5 times negative 3 on the outside there. Okay, continuing in our brackets, I have an add, I have a multiply, so the multiply is going to come before the add in PEMDAS. So we'll do 4 plus 3 times 6 would be 18. Close my brackets there, minus 5 times negative 3. Okay, so now you can see we still have parentheses, right? These brackets are considered parentheses. We still have one more operation to take care of in the parentheses before all parentheses are done. So we're still working on our P's here. So in my brackets, 4 plus 18 is going to give me 22. 
and then outside of that I have minus 5 times negative 3. Now we were at we're at the point where all of the parentheses are taken care of finally finished with those so now we look at what's left we have a subtract here and then we have a multiply here so I want to go ahead and take care of my multiply first so I have my 22 I don't really need this in brackets because there's nothing else to do to 22 we could leave those brackets off if we want um, so if I have uh, 5 times negative 3, then that will give us negative 15. And think about what's going on here. I have minus a negative, so if I have 22 minus negative, minus negative is the same as plus. So 22 plus 15 will give us an end answer of 37. So again, on these, you wanted to do everything. If I scroll back up, you want to do everything in parentheses from the inside out. Once we did these inside parentheses, we still had these brackets, which are considered outside parentheses. So we still needed to do everything that was grouped together there. Once we took care of that, then we could combine things with this negative 5 and negative 3 at the end.